Hey YouTube, my name is Mactix and welcome to the Grandmaster Guidebook. Today I'm here to show you how to beat the Devil's Lair Grandmaster Nightfall, explained in just a few minutes. And make sure you tap that subscribe button and leave a like on the video if it helps. Allegedly, it increases your luck in the GM. That is true. This Grandmaster has Overload and Barrier Champions with all three elemental shields. Hunters want Bottom Tree Tether with Omni Oculus or Stasis with Aeons. Titans want Bottom Tree Hammers. And Warlocks want Well of Radiance with Phoenix Protocol. For weapons, it's a whole mix of Halloween tricks and treats with Ariana and Liminarch dominating here with player 3 opting for a shadow price. Threaded needles for burst damage with kinetics being a bow, a wither horde, and please trust me on this, a sniper. For mods, protective light, taking charge, particle deconstruction. You know it by now. As for the nightfall itself, you'll load into the patrol zone and head left to skip past everything. You can even skip past the first overload and still get platinum. Room 2 has some Fallen and Hive with a Barrier Knight, and Room 3 has got some Acolytes, an Overload Captain, and a Solar Wizard, with Thrall spawning on the left when the Solar Wizard dies. Continue on to clear the Train Room by first knocking out the Barrier Knight, then the two Vandal Snipers in the back middle, then the two Solar Wizards, and then everything else including the Overload Captain. Scan to hack and immediately break for the back of the destroyed train cars on your left, taking out all three waves from back here, venturing forward for a few enemies that might not push you. Wave 1 features overload captains and some shanks. Wave 2 features two solar wizards, barrier knights, some arc knights, and a sniper vandal in the back and on the left. And Wave 3 features overload captains, another sniper in the back, another sniper on the left, and a lots of other miscellaneous trash mobs. Just stay back and let them play into you and you'll be perfectly fine. Proceed to the next room, watching out for the Vandal Sniper that rushes you, as well as the Overload Captain in the back. After you clear this, it's time for the tank section. This room takes a while and must be played with care. You'll be thanking your lucky stars you brought that sniper right here, because it is key for neutralizing those sniper vandals. You'll start by knocking down a few snipers on the right, one on the middle roof, followed by the barrier servitor, and then another sniper on the back left roof. <laughs> Advance slightly so you can see all of the sniper vandals on the right and in the middle and take them out with your sniper player. Final sniper is around the mid left area as well. After you knock these guys down, Briggs are the next step. Kite them back as you shoot them and whip out the linear fusions once they hit 1 half HP and reveal their crit to burn them down. Next, slowly make your way up, knocking down the overload captain and barrier servitor in the middle. You're then free to start damaging the tank, being wary that hitting certain health intervals will bring in a skiff to drop more adds in the middle that can include champions. So take it slow, play cover, and make sure to evacuate if that tank's red laser is anywhere near you. After dropping the tank, you'll have another overload captain and a few more trash mobs to drop, after which you can proceed to the boss room where you will start the fight by killing all of the dregs and the two overload captains. Boss will spawn in, where you can then put a good chunk of damage into him, hopefully putting him into his immune phase, where he will then spawn four void servitors around him that must be destroyed to make him vulnerable again. Head into the left room, which is the safest location for this whole fight, and drop the servitors through the slots in the windows. Once you drop the fourth servitor, damage the boss until it hits immune phase number two, spawning four more servitors and two overload captains. You can hang out at the doorway to the left room and the overloads should eventually push up to your line of sight. Drop them both and then knock down the four void servitors the same way you killed the first set. After that, all there's left to do is turn Sepix into dead picks. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. And that's everything. If this video helps, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And you can also drop a comment below giving me a crazy loadout to run this with, and I might include a run with your recommended loadout in my next YouTube video. Next up, check out my live stream at twitch.tv slash for a great community and live Grandmaster carries where you can come and run this with me. If you need a team to run this with and can't get in the stream, I have an LFG channel in my Discord server linked in the description below full of super kind and helpful guardians that you'll love to run with. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have have a great day.